Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to set up our environment so we can start programming for the NES. So with that said, let's do this. All right, and welcome to the new Nintendo Entertainment System NES programming series. On this video, all we're doing is setting up our environment so we can start programming for the NES. And we're switching up environment from the Atari 2600. So instead of using the Eclipse IDI, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. Instead of the Watson IDI extension, we're going to use Beep. And instead of the DASM assembler, we're going to be using the NES ASM, so Nintendo Entertainment System assembler. And I'm doing that because there's there were a few people that were having trouble running uh, the Woods and IDI in an Eclipse on their computer, so no one can reference this video over here, how to set up that for the Atari, because it's super easy. Uh, we also learned a new environment, so, so doing that for those two reasons. And of course, if you still enjoy working in the environment, you can certainly continue using it. After all, all we're doing pretty much is writing a binary and then writing to your EEPROM. And you can do that with uh, pretty much anything. You can even write your own files with your Word doc or uh, WordPad or TextPad. But for this video, you're gonna be using this environment over here. And our material, our book material is gonna be the Nerdy Nice source. And Nerdy Nice was a resources that were Posted in a forum, but the website got expired. The website expired, so all the information was lost. But there are some people that managed to able to retrieve all the information. And I'm using this mirror over here that has all the information from the Nerdy Nights tutorials. And so let's just get started. And the first thing I want you guys to do is come over here in week four. Scroll up a little bit, and you want to download the NASM Assembler. So if you click here on NASM Assembler, open, especially if you're Windows. Here is the NASM Assembler already compiled. And here, the usage is pretty much is the documentation for all the, for the options that we have over here. It also has the Mac OS, so I'm assuming it has the, also the the Mac and the OS already compiled. If you don't, if you wanted to compile yourself, you can come here under the NASM GitHub account. that has all the information. And here it is. The install is pretty easy. So you're going to need CMake for the building, especially if you're Windows. So CMake. So you're going to download over here the, the zip code. You come come out with all these files. And you're going to put the binary over here where the include is and then the source well, here in the source make sure then you have your generate your specified generator um, it's going to be visual studio studio for windows then try to match the version that you have and then you generate open project and compile like that but I'm, i might prefer to use this one because both versions is still 3.1 and it's going to work on all should work on all computers. Otherwise, you're gonna have to compile. And if you're Mac on OS, you have to, can do the the make and then sudo make install. So get that downloaded and set up. And as well, since you're already talking about downloading, let's talk about your emulator. You're gonna use the FC UX. So come here to download and download the version that corresponds to your your operating system right over here and of course then you have our visual studio code so i'm gonna go with you guys how to do that pretty easy so come over here download uh save file and, uh, all right so i'm just gonna wait for that so let me should be pretty fast you know what let me just skip on the video all right, now that you have your file already downloaded, let's open it up. 
is our installer over here and here's the default op just you know if options that we have so let's go over agree to the agree to terms location if you like a start menu folder or not like a desktop icon and here you just review all the options that we chose and let us install it i already had an installer before so i just did a quick uninstall to show you what it looks like when it's already something like blank but let me let's just go over what happens over here and hopefully have something like this and of course you can customize it your settings and color team over here i already have here your dark mode and whatnot but what you want to do the first thing you want to do is come right over here on your extension as you see here uh, shortcut for control shift x and you want to type 6502 since that's what you like and like i said in the beginning of the video you're going to use the pip extensions but there's other extensions you could use like the 6502 assembler for visual studio code uh, it's not in english but uh, and it's not supported in english but i try a little bit it's and you know, it was pretty nice however i can't understand this so it's not going to help me much uh, there's the Maz assembler if you want to use it. There's the Acme assembler. There's even Dasm over here if you want to try it out. And I just noticed this new extension here, the Atari Dev Studio. It's relatively new since the first time I use the last time I use it. So you can try it out, especially if you're coming here from the Atari videos. But like I said, we want to use the BIP extension. And here's a little bit of a quick tutorials how to set up and whatnot but I go want to go over a few guys and the first thing you want to do after you install it is come over here on this button and click extension settings or you could come from here file preference settings and then extensions and here's the beep so I find here should be less clunky less junk so here we want to come over here and here you have the assembler and the emulator so pretty pretty straightforward put the location of the assembler over here and location of emulator over here so make sure you downloaded them and extracted them and put the location right over here and if you're coming here from the atari videos and you could have trouble installing eclipse and what's an idi and you want to try visual studio code so instead of the nesm assembler you'd put the DASM over here instead of the FCUX you put the Stella emulator over here so that's pretty straightforward so just put the location and I like to put forward slash or slash instead of the backwards because this is the because it, if you ever use command prompt you know the double escape character becomes a nightmare so just put just put the forward or slash over here so after I have all that set up, let's click here on the Explorer. And here you're gonna have the option. You don't have a folder open yet, so let's open the folder. So let me create a new folder under documents and call programming. Come over here. Wanna and yes, select folder, then select folder. But reload it and here is our NES folder. So let me save this folder. Workspace, should I say? And I'm gonna call it NES maybe something. Well for now, let's call it this. And all right. Here here we have our workspace. And so let's come back over here under the nerdy nightmare let me go all the way up i'm going to come on our first app just so we can run our compiler and emulator to show how you're going to do this so where you downloaded the <clears throat> excuse me where you downloaded the assembler click here on background and download it i already have downloaded if you've seen it before it's right here let's open it up 
background. And I'm just gonna copy this to file. Actually, just leave it open for now. And if you click, and let me show you something cool. Just come over here, right? Uh, right click, review in Fire Explorer, and here's our location for our folder. So let me come over here in the background. Just pretty much just drag and drop over here. And as you see, it already got detected over here on Visual Studio Code. So let me close you. Let me close you. And just to show you guys here in Workspace, if we were to create a new file over here, let's say foo.asm. As you see, this small logo over here change. If I put, put C, for example, if I had C extension, it already changed over here, so it automatically detects which file is associated, is associated with it by the extension. And you can always come up right over here. It shows what the extension is. Select the language mode it is, as you see under here. And you can manually change for whatever one you like over here. Of course, you, have, you are under the right one. And here's our file. Here's the background file. So let's run it. But the first thing you need to do is come in here. Is actually before that, let me show you. Come over here, your settings, key shortcuts. If you type beep, oh, beep over here. Here is the key bindings for the options that we have under beep. And you want to actually create a new build target. So F10. You can change those whenever you like. So let's F10. So let's select the target, and that is your background ASM. Click that. So you build it a new target. And it's Visual Studio Code. It's right over here in your test. However, we need to change this version. This is deprecated, as you see over here. 0 0.10 is deprecated plus use 2.00 so let's do that and there's a bunch of other deprecated uh, calls over here so I just you can take it out well we're going to take it out we'll take all of them out the only thing you really have to do is change this to label so task name label over here, so let me delete this, delete this. If you like uh, to put the default stuff, you can put like type, and you can put shell, and then presentation. That's the default settings, but you don't really need to. It still work regardless. The only thing you actually need is this. The back change pretty much task to label and let's rename it so this is a task name this instead of background this is going to be com let's call it compile uh, compile yeah that's good and this is instead of let's say compile code and here, let's just call it run emulator. Pretty stranger. So let's first deal with compile code over here. So I use, how it does pretty much is just put our background file or background that you have over here and send it to the desk handler. That's pretty much what it does. Uh, this is not going to be necessary. Actually, it's not even part of the code, part of the function that we need. So take that out. And here is the extension or this, well, let me come over here. Nasmum usage. So this is the, right over here, you have the extra er, uh, arguments. You can send it to, to the compiler. Here's the options that you see over here. And you can put .s for segment usage for the control output listing files and 
So, so we have force macros and then control header generation. So that's all the options that we have. So if you like .s, you come over here. Yes, let me change it something like that. Well, you don't really need any of that right now. So just click that. Let me save. Uh, come back over here. Let me open back background. And then you come over here, terminal, run task. And I say compile code. And as you notice over here, I already got compiled to the .nes file. And the only thing you need to come over here is to SSD to NES. And if you compile from DASM, it should be .bin file. And it, it was different because it is the bit extension. You come over here. Uh, support It was supported for the BBC micro, but you're not using for that. We're using for pretty much just compiling an assembler under the same uh, out under Visual Studio Code. So if you did I change? Yeah, NAS. Okay. So now this should be all set. Close this. You can close this. Come over here. Run task. Run emulator. It says here NES. Uh, never scan. And here is our emulator running our background.s compile file.nes. And just to show you guys that it actually works, let's come over here and change this background. This is intensity blue. Let's change it to green. Zero one. Let me save it. First, we compile it. So, Control Shift R. That's a shortcut over here. Run test. Compile code. And then let's run an emulator. There it is. It's green. And now we have all your setup already done. Now from now. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'll. Let's go back over here. Let's go all the way to the top. We're going to go over the NES architecture. I'm going to skip out all this uh, 6502 in programming part. If you like, you can, of course, choose from the videos that I've made, or you can, you can go on those videos and uh, check the resource links. So you can either learn from that place, or you can even go to another YouTube place. But the Prerequisite, the only thing you really need to know is the 6502 assembly language. And with that said, that's going to be it. If you like these videos, please uh, give a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.